Well, all this week, students from Wayne State have been working to uncover history at a home that once belonged to Malcolm X. The archaeological dig is looking to give new insight into the home and the surrounding neighborhood. Our Kim DeGiulio went to check it out. Very few places that civil rights leader Malcolm X resided in are still standing today. However, thanks to members of this Inkster community, this one is still here. And this is where Malcolm lived back in the early 1950s. It's hard to believe that this house was once slated for demolition. For eight years, we fought with the city um, to get the house. Aaron Sims and his friend did a little research and learned that this was once home to civil rights leader Malcolm X. Let's pull up his prison file and see what we could find. And I was like, Dewan, I said, we're going to own this house one day. And he was like, let's go. So you can imagine Aaron's excitement to see Wayne State University's archaeology and anthropology professors and students here digging for artifacts. We have no expectations. We're hoping to find something maybe linked to the little family or to Malcolm himself. When they first came out Monday, I was like, man, like, this is like something you would just see on TV. Like, I started thinking about like Jurassic Park or something like that. The home belonged to Malcolm's brother, Wilford, and Malcolm lived here during a pivotal time of his life. Because when he came here, he was Malcolm Little, and he made his transition from Malcolm Little to Malcolm X at this house. So far, they've found things like a stroller, picture frames, and even an old Fago can that will eventually fill this home once restored and turned into a museum. We hope to fill the house with both, you know, um, materials we collected from the actual dig, um, but also stuff that we've collected. We have people who are donating uh, period furniture, appliances from the 1950s to make the house look like it did when Malcolm would have lived here. And Aaron, who is a third generation member of this Inkster community, is thrilled to know that he had a part of saving this home that will teach many generations to come the history of Malcolm X. Yeah, it's exciting. While they're going to turn the house into a museum, the group here will also plan to open up a community center in the lot next door. In Inkster, I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4. That'll be something when it's open, that's for Pretty sure. Pretty impressive. He had that idea and just really followed through to get that house. Yeah. 